Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. I have one question for you today that comes out of the book of Proverbs. And here's the question. Who has your ear? Who do you listen to? What do you lean into? What newscasters? What preachers? What people? What friends? Because the people that have your ear have influence on your life more than you might recognize. Listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 13, verse 14. The teaching of the wise is a fountain of life, turning a person from the snares of death. This is talking particularly about teachers, influencers, and there's lots of influencers in our world today. So they make people formally teach, people informally teach, but we have a whole category of people that didn't exist not that long ago. Influencers. I'm an influencer. Some people's full-time job is influencing on TikTok or on Instagram. They're trying to influence people. But when someone is speaking, when somebody is teaching you, they're having a huge influence on your life. And so in this passage, in this one verse, and I'll read it one more time, the teaching of the wise is a fountain of life, turning a person from the snares of death. That's the teaching of the wise. But the words in the teaching of the foolish will do exactly the opposite. So here's a couple thoughts. One, there's great power in teaching. The people who you decide to listen to, to teach you, and I want to say particularly if you're a follower of Jesus, the preachers and the teachers you listen to are influencing you. So make sure they're, they're on the right track. Here's the second thing the passage says. It can be a fountain of life. If you listen to people who teach what honors God, what is, what is wise in God's sight, that can bring life to you. The opposite is true. If you're listening to teachers that are misleading, that can lead to death. And then the last thing is the question again, who has your ear? Who do you listen to? Let me give you three kind of ideas for the people you're listening to who are Christian influencers, Christian preachers, Christian teachers, influencing how you understand God. Ask yourself these three questions. Number one, most important, are they biblical? Do they hold to this book, the Word of God? If they don't, if you don't hear them opening the Bible and talking about the Scriptures, be very, very careful. Number two, do they call you to action? You can have great teachers who talk and talk and talk about the Bible. They exegete the text. They give you insight. They, they do expository work. They go through passage after passage, but they never bring it home. You know, in the book of James, we learn that, that the wise person does what the Bible says, doesn't just hear it, doesn't just listen to it. So does, do the people who influence you as teachers call you to life action? Do you feel challenged to change because of the Scripture? If they do, keep on listening. If they don't, again, a little caution, cautionary note there. And then number three, when you hear this person teach, do you get challenged? Are there times you feel uncomfortable? If you're listening to someone month after month and year after year and you never feel stretched, you never feel challenged, you never feel uncomfortable to, to become more like Jesus, to, to repent of sin, to walk away from something, then again, be careful. Are they biblical? Are they practical or actionable? And do they challenge you? Does it bring conviction? And if it does, that's fantastic. I remember uh, going to hear a couple of teachers at this event. Uh, it was happening in the area I lived at the time, Garden Grove. I was, a, I was a teenager, fairly new Christian, and there was a big event going on that was kind of from a different stream of Christianity. But a couple of us wanted to just drop in. It was a big open convention conference, and so we went. And during the conference, the speaker that we heard uh, was talking about the Apostle Paul. And this particular preacher uh, had this idea that... Um, if you pray the right way with the right amount of faith, you'll always get what you want. And if you live for Jesus, you'll never struggle, you'll never suffer, everything goes your way. And at one point he said, you know, people say the Apostle Paul, the Apostle Paul was hunched over and had a bad back. They say that he might have had bad eyes. Uh, some people say that he was a, a, short, a man of short stature. And this guy looked at the crowd and he said, let me tell you about the Apostle Paul. He was six foot four. He had a full head of hair. He was never sick a day of his life. And he starts giving all this. And I'm thinking, first of all, the Bible doesn't say that. And second of all, what does that have to do with anything, how tall he is? But this person had taken their own presuppositions and imposed them on the Bible. And I think ultimately this person was misleading those who were listening. We didn't stay very long at that open conference convention. We got out of there after a little while and had a great conversation about it. But make sure when someone is teaching, they're bringing wisdom from the Word of God that calls you to action and that challenges you, and you will keep growing as a follower of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Lord Jesus, I pray for each person listening. I pray for myself. 
that we would listen to those who are wise, who are biblical, who are calling us to live in a new way. Use your Holy Spirit through those who teach us, to shape us, to challenge us, to grow us. Help us all be people of your word. But Lord, thank you for those who preach and teach your word. Fill them with your spirit. Keep them committed to your word and use them in our lives to grow in our faith. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God's blessings on you. Have a great week. If you're part of Shoreline, we'll see you at 9 and 11 online or on campus. If you're part of another church, get engaged. Be part of that congregation. Serve Jesus there and grow in your faith in that place. And make sure the person who you're listening to teach you at that church is teaching the Word of God. God bless you. Have a great day.